Hi Mart here and today I want to show you how to add reference image in Krita. The first thing you have to do is to check if you have your toolbox and your tool options docker in there. So go to settings, dockers and check if you have tool options and toolbox. Check. In a toolbox, which is this part over here with all your tool, click on this little pin button which is called reference images tools. Click on it and in tool options you can see all those new buttons here. The first one is to add image, reference image from your computer, from you know file. You can click on it and add it, whatever you want, for example bananas, you can rescale it or whatever and paste it wherever you want on the screen. It doesn't have to be on a canvas, you can have it like on a side or Know, rotate it or you know scale it whatever you want to do with it then you can change the opacity of the image saturation if you want just black and white and then you can check if you want to keep aspect ratio which with aspect ratio on the aspect ratio stays if you take it off you can you know rescale it with different aspect ratio you know like that and the last thing a safe location you can either embed it into CRIDA file, which means that uh, these, those images will be saved into the CRIDA file. So if you open it on a different computer, uh, those images will still be there. Or you can just use a link to image, which will just create a link to the image in your computer. So the image will actually not be saved in the file. So if you open it on a different computer, the image will not load. So it depends on you what you want to use, but usually it's better to use the embed to CRIDA to you know, create a file because, you know, you can now work on whatever computer you want it. And if you delete the image, nothing happens because the image is still saved in your CRUDA file. So yeah, that's how you add. You can add more, of course. You can add another banana or so whatever image you want to, you know, rescale it, put it somewhere else. Um, do the same with opacity, a saturation, rescale it, whatever. Also embed it or just link it. It, it depends on you what you want to do. The another one is to uh, paste from a clipboard, which means if you go to some website, for example, Google and Google Images, and then you right click the image, click copy, you can just paste it from there. You know, it's easier way when you like searching from images like as a reference images, it will just go through the, I don't know, Google Images and find, you know, references and then just copy them straight up from there. You don't need to like save them to your computer. It's a really cool feature to have, you know, you don't need to like store all those images you can just store them right into your CRUDA file thanks, thanks to the embed to CRUDA option and yeah so it's like a really cool feature to have another button is to load and export reference image sets which means I can like take this whole set those two bananas I've just added and I can save them to some file asd.krf which is like the CRUDA reference image collection file let's say this way i can just save it you know i already saved it before because i was trying it but i will just save it again and now if i will like delete them all they're not here i can just open them again with the load button and they will be back there you know easy as that and now you have the delete all button which how it says like delete all reference images it will just delete all the reference images well, and that's pretty much it. Like, you don't need to do anything else. This It's really simple and useful tool to have. It was about time the Krita got this tool. So, okay, now you can use reference images in Krita and go crazy and be creative. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and Mars out. So, that was my video. If you liked it, you can leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Or even better, tell me in the comments what should I improve to make it better, I guess. You can also subscribe to my account and also hit the bell icon so you can see when I'm live and when I'm streaming and when I'm uploading new videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one.